that and we are live see ya ladies and gentlemen i'm sorry for the five minutes delay but you know what yeah guys uh you know we'll just have to fix up some technical stuff uh, you know before we get into the show so that you could have high quality show uh, uh, today because this is one of my best shows i've just started uh, uh, uh down here and um, of course this show i'm very proud of this show because um i started this show uh you know with my brother my guy you know he said i come in here as a guest and from there you know we just decided hey you know what yeah let's just have this show let's talk to the people you know and um man i'm glad to have you down here yeah no other person than my guy my brother my partner down here Josh, true gonna write. Talk to these people, man. How are you doing? Yeah, big up my man Tony. Monday again. I tell you, every single Monday, I look forward to our show, man, because I'm like, you know what? It's Monday. Got a great show with Tony, you know, ready to talk some football with my guy. And um, yeah, I'm I'm loving it, man. I'm absolutely loving this show. I'm very good myself, you know. We're all happy with Arsenal as well, smashing it at the moment, you know, top of the mm. league. Other teams around yeah. us dropping points, as we saw the other day. So no, it's good, man. Arsenal, you know, life is good uh, if you're an Arsenal fan right now, for sure. And seven games left, as we know, it's going to be massive. So really look forward to the end of the season. And um, yeah, thank you very much for having me on, as always, my guy. Definitely, definitely, uh, uh, Josh. And Josh, see, yeah, like you rightfully said, Arsenal is back at the top of the tree yet again. Liverpool bottling it at the weekend. <laughs> they should have lost, yeah? Let's get that correctly, yeah? yeah that 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 uh that penalty call i don't know man what's happening to uh, anthony taylor anthony taylor used to be one of the at least one of the best referees amongst the bunch of um you know among the bunch of donuts we have down there as referees uh uh you know he's one of the best out of the bunch but how could you miss how could you miss that and again the, see yeah josh there's uh, <laughs> there's a technology system down there yeah called mm. the var <laughs> to be used in these cases yeah. can you highlight why anthony taylor didn't really go down there to the tv uh, because normally with such dicey situations yeah the referee has to be spot on mostly with games that has this kind of consequences uh, consequences that could be grave in terms of uh, determining who the who the winner of the of the league would be or who would go on to win the league why didn't that why didn't that situation yeah go down to the VAR mm, it's baffling isn't it man it really is it very is because that's what I was thinking um you know it's just, it's just the same old like I, I, I with VAR yeah the thing with me is we know at times you know, it's it's cost many teams. You know, at times we look back on VAR and many occasions mm. we can sit there. But I look at the officials and the people running VAR, and half of them are just clueless. I'm sorry to say, yeah, it's like the officials for me are clueless. And yeah, it's very baffling for me why that never went to VAR. You know, there's there's been many scenarios in in the Premier League season as well, very similar to this where. You know, there's a certain call and it's not gone to no, you know, VAR's not even checked it. It's just baffling for me, man. And yeah, um, you know, when we, and the, you know, that, as you rightly said, I feel like that could have been worse for Liverpool as well, bro. You know, they could have lost the game. They could have dropped, let alone two points. Yeah. They could have dropped all three points because let's be real with it. I mean, Wan Bissaka, when I first saw the, and, and my initial reaction was like, what are you doing, Wan Bissaka, man? You silly, you know, in the last minute of game. Yeah. Man, but then you look back, was, Tony, was that really a penalty? Come on. Was that he really didn't even touch him. He did not even lay a finger on that guy. Exactly. It was it's, no it's, touch. Yeah, and obviously that 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 changed the game, man. Sal, you know, Salah scored as he always will score and uh, they got a point Definitely. out of it, which, you know, it could be big for them, but you know, even that, even, um, you know, a point, them dropping a point is massive, I still think, though, you know, for this title race, because obviously we we say top now. It sits you in our hands, Tony. I, I know we've heard this saying before, but realistically, yeah, like seven games left. We win seven games. We win the Premier League title. This is what it's set out to be now. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be mad. But, yeah, I was... Um, 
I was very shocked in the fact that Man United even took points off of Liverpool. And I know it's a big game. I, I get, you know, these, these these two sides, they're two of the biggest teams in England against each other. Yeah. So, you know, it's yeah. always going to be a game. But the way how Man United have been playing this season, I'm like, I'm, I was shocked really how they got. I mean, because I watched the game before when I played against Chelsea, three to up. Yeah. Ended up bottling the game four three. I'm like, yeah, Liverpool sh- will probably win this game. But no, they didn't. And, um, you know, Man United's <laughs> drop, make them drop points and, for once, we can thank them, uh, but, that, but that is it. You know, that is my only time I was getting behind Man United. Yeah, in terms of I wanted their team to win. I can't stand both of them, but just because what it did to the title race, I'm like, you know what, Man United, please win today. That's the only time I'm ever going to say that. And then when when we get Old Trafford, we'll do them, and yeah, they can go back to, you know, being. But 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 before this matchup started, yeah, that, that did you did you have any kind of feeling that? Manchester United will will have the cojones to go head to head with Liverpool, because uh, with me, yeah, I wasn't really thinking that Liverpool was gonna drop any points. I thought they yeah. were gonna go to Old Trafford and 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 destroy, like completely have their way with Manchester United. But Spot. it looks like the hoodoo, the hoodoo down there at Old Trafford. It looks it looks a little bit like a potent hoodoo. And mind you, Arsenal will have to go to the Old Trafford, yeah. And go and uh, set that place a lot. If if we have any inclination or if we have any thinking, yeah, any admiration for the Premier League title this season, we have to go there and and beat up and smash up a uh, 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 Manchester United right in their backyard. No, spot on. Yeah, and you know what it is. The funny thing is with this game as well is they've played each other three times now this season, and Liverpool's not got a result. You know, Man United have been unbeaten against them three times. It's like. Yeah. Maybe one, one one of those teams that may that Liverpool struggling to beat, of course, because they beat, they did it in the FA Cup, and I was shocked that they got knocked out of the FA Cup yeah. by by Man United. Obviously, and they got the point at Anfield, didn't they? So, and obviously, they got a point um, at Old Trafford yesterday. So, yeah, it's maybe one of those teams, Liverpool. But I agree with you. I was shocked how Liverpool dropped points just because of how how consistent they've been this season, Liverpool. Like you know, they 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 just, don't get twisted. Yeah. I think they deserve to be where they are in terms of in the title race, just because of as I said how consistent this Liverpool side has been this season you know I did not expect them to, to you know to drop points here and um, yeah I mean I don't think it's over for them because you know they are still in it but what it does do is it pretty much gives us the advantage in my opinion I think it is now our advantage because we are there we are top of the league and it's a perfect result for Arsenal it really is of course I would have liked it to be better I would like Man United to beat them because then they would have dropped all points but I think a draw them still dropping two points there um, you know, it could cycle as she gets them as well. You know, the momentum may be dropped. Yeah. I don't know, but you know, um, yeah, I was pretty buzzing that you know, Man United did get something out of that game, man, because it's massive for us. It really is. Yeah, definitely. Uh, big ups to Paul Forward Blue Nose. Big ups to big you, up, my bro. God, my brother. How are you doing, Paul? Man, hope you're okay. Uh, the assembled down here, one of our most. <laughs> biggest biggest supporters on this channel man from day one the assembled has always been rocking with me big up to you the assembled more sports world i thought you'll be on your way to england uh, miss melina is already on her way to mm-hmm. england i thought you'll be there mm-hmm. down there you know uh, cheering and helping the boys get you know get through that german uh, inversion coming uh, down there at the emirate anyway with that france anyway uh, but big up to you most man hope you're doing well Guys, go subscribe to Moss, man. That's our guy. Yeah, no other person than Drew Gunners. Yeah, yeah that's Drew. my graphics guy. My friend also because, uh, you know, I, he's the moderator of my channel. And big up to him. He says, big up, guys. Big up, guys. Big up to big you, up, Drew bro. Gunners. Subscribe to his channel. He's a great guy. Great personality. Uh, see, yeah. My brother. Do you think that... Just before we go into the shenanigans of this... Um, Bayern Munich and 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 there are, and lots of pretense here yeah? and lots of um, darkness enshrouding their players, uh, 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 mostly at the weekend when they lost. Mm. Uh, do you think Arsenal can go all the way and win seven games, <sighs> get seven wins without dropping points and win the league? Mm. I mean, can we look for, it, can we look forward to that? Yeah, you know what it is like. I feel like what I feel like. Look, 
it's easier said than done, but you know, it's there. Like, well, that's what we've got to do is we want to win the league title. We will win the league title if we win seven games in a row. It's simple as that. It's just, I don't see us losing the seven games, but I do unfortunately see us dropping a few points here and there. It's just some some of the um, some of the games I'm looking at, yeah. You know, look, I think we, we can win all seven, like real talk. Like, I, I, we, with the score we have. You really think we yeah, can't win the seven? The, no, 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 but what I'm saying, no, no, but we should be. Should, 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 should we not be winning all seven? Should we not be winning all seven? What what, what team in there should beat us? I don't think the one I'm saying no, is no, we should no, be. No, we, sh- we should be winning the whole yeah, seven. Yeah. But, but I don't think possible? we will. I think we'll drop is points that here. Is possible at this time? No, because look, there's games in there, right? For example, Tottenham away. Mm. North London derby. They did us at the end. Well, they drew with us at the Emirates. That's going to be a very tough game, yeah? yeah? We've got an iffy record at Tottenham away as well. I know we beat them last season, but that will still be a tough game. They're going to want to stop Arsenal winning Leeds out as well. We're, 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 we're crazy rivals, yeah? There'd be a lot yeah. in that game as well. Man United at Old Trafford, yeah? I mean, people can laugh at Man United. Okay, well, they got a point Well, they got a point off of Liverpool yesterday, who was in the title race, yeah? Again, Old Trafford, we are all for Old Trafford. Even last season, when we was in the title race, yeah, we absolutely got bad... Well, we didn't get bad, but we but we lost the game three one by Man United last season. Yeah, it's a very difficult place yeah. to um to go yeah. to, right? So I'm not saying we we'll lose, but yeah. I do see dropping points in those games. Even like these teams, like Aston Villa, for example, next week, Emery, yeah, Una Emery coming back to the Emirates, he's going to want to prove a point. He's going to want to stop Arsenal in the league title. He's a very good tactically uh, tactician as well as a manager. He knows how to set up. He's a well organized manager. That'll be a tough game, like. You know these games, yeah. You know you got you got the likes of um, obviously Wolves away again. I think we can do them, yeah. but it'd be a tough game at the Molyneux. You know these away. Un- and, under- and of course, we still have that crunch Chelsea game that has already the been Chelsea at home as well, and it's coming immediately after. Yeah. I think immediately after the. There's... I think that game is coming immediately after the after the Bayern Munich game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is second leg. Yeah, I think it's straight after the second leg when we play at the Alliance. Oh my god, oh my we got days. Villa, and it's obviously next game, and then yeah, second leg of Bayern and Alliance. I'm pretty sure. So that's so, and then Chelsea. So yeah, no, look, the, these are seven games. You know, there's some ones in there. I sit, I look at, it and I think we possibly not lose, but drop points in there. Um, and is and then Chelsea look- even beatable right now? That, that- I, I mean, we went to old. Uh, we went to Stamford Bridge. Yeah, we thought we drew, that we'd yeah. go there and bamboozle them at yeah. the time because Arsenal yeah. were winning games, not not particularly that we were playing well or seamlessly. Yeah, we weren't playing as a unit, but we we're grinding our points, winning games. You know, three points. Uh, you know, we're coming, uh, but we're playing as a cohesive unit. But right now, do you think we're confidently? going to beat Chelsea without no troubles? Do you think we can be able to go to Old Trafford, get three points? Do you think that we can overshadow Wolves? Everton on the last day of the <laughs> of the league. Yeah. And right now, look at the problems there with this one. This one is a big one because Everton, have ju- they've just deducted more points from Everton already. Again. Mm-hmm. Just today, I think so. They deducted another point again from Everton. And if that's happening, they will be jostling for every single point that, that they should be exactly. grabbing exactly. in the league exactly. right now. This is what I'm saying. Like that, that Everton game, Tony, yeah. Like, as you said, they got deducted points. It could come down to that one, one of those last day of the season settings, yeah, where Everton has need a win to stay up or something they're going to be fired up for it you know so yeah yeah, um, yeah. That, i mean all, i look at all these games really i mean these seven games yeah they, 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 they're all going to be tough let's be real because mm. but the, the, the difference i want to see is i want to see a, a difference like in terms of the mentality with this arsenal side now yeah because last season we saw what happened mm. right the, the drop off was crazy it was it was ultimately for me embarrassing last, last season to drop off like that you know, it's embarrassing yeah. for us to bowl it last season. Yeah, we got into a great position. We know this. We was eight points clear. We know this. Um, but the fact that we, you know, these types of games which cost us was the Southampton game. Yeah, they bought in the league at the time. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, we and we was three one down yeah. to them at one stage and we dropped two points. 
you know, these games against West Ham last season, you know, when we were 2 0 up and, you know, again, we dropped points there. You know, um, there's even, this is what I'm saying, even these games will be tough because Bournemouth last season, we got them again at the Emirates, but Bournemouth last season, they went 2 0 up against us and we took Reese Nelson to win us the game. You know, so this is a Premier League, like, you know, as much as, I mean, you look on paper, yeah, and real talk, we should, and that's why I said we should be winning all seven games. I believe we should be, yeah. but do I think we will? I think we won't lose the seven games, but I think there's games in there where I see our dropping points. And will that cost us? Well, I look at the other team's fixtures. I look at Man City's fixtures. I don't really see where they can possibly drop points, to be honest. And we see Man City go on this crazy run uh, in the past no. where, you know, if they really wanted to. They and and Man, Man City can still win it. The, 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 and they can, and they can, yeah. They're still in. They're still in it. Right? That's it's what, just, like, that just result for them as well. That, that result for them as well, when Liverpool drop points, it's massive for them as well, man, because it really helps them out as yeah. well, doesn't it? So, you know, again, I don't see where they're really going to drop points as well. And obviously, as for Liverpool, it's, it's Liverpool being consistent this season, but then sort of that, that game against uh, Man United have thrown me off a little bit with them. But maybe it's an anomaly because we've seen them this season against Man United. They've struggled massively. I mean, they've not even won three games against them. They've not won any of them three. So, yeah, I, I honestly think it's going to come down to the wire. I honestly think it could be one of those final day settings, Tony. You know, a bit like we got in 2014 when Aguero scored that and Man United could have won it, but then Man, Man City won it on the last day. I honestly got a feeling it could come down to the wire just like the, um, you know, last final day settings as well. It, it, I honestly think this title goes down the wire. And honestly, it's been the, one of the best heart races I've seen in my lifetime. You know, three teams going at it to the end. Great, and, well, I will say, look, I think we should be able... I said, like, we should be winning the seven games. I want to see Arsenal go, obviously, and win all the seven games and win the league title. But what I want to see is, I, I want to see us not capitulating at, at the final hurdle. I want us to go toe-to-toe -to, -toe yeah. to the wire, Tony. So the seventh game, I expect us to be there. I really do. And uh, we'll see what yeah. happens, man. But it's going to we'll be see, amazing. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely see what happens because I, I really do think that Arsenal is going to be uh, having seven complete finals man because i still even think that wolves will be biting hard and barking hard at the arsenal at the time and uh, we also have the, this aston villa game they'll be fighting like wounded lions they know they've beaten us this season they know they have the antidote uh, but again it's a different terrain they will have to come down to the emirate uh, these are different stuff yeah but again look at hollywood rock Hollywood Rock is a Liverpool fan. Big up to him. He's down here. And Josh, just listen. He says, I expect Arsenal to win the league now. Now, this is mine games. Yeah. This is clearly <laughs> mine games. After that draw yesterday, yeah, uh, 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 with Manchester United versus Liverpool, uh, talking about mine games, the Liverpool manager came out and said, you know what, yeah, th this is a very shitty, bad, bad, bad. Manchester United team that I've seen and if they play like this when Arsenal come to the yard Arsenal will beat them a hundred percent now this is one of the most professional managers I've seen apart from him pacing and panting uh, around the touch line in any game that he you know is is actually coaching apart from that this is one of the most professionally uh, minded managers and he had that to say about that game and about Manchester United. I know these are mind games. Do you think this is mind games? Or do you think this is something straight truth, real talk <laughs> from the heart of, of, of judging club? I think he's got a point, to be honest. They are... <laughs> I'm sorry, they are crap. I can't lie. That, that whole club, by the way, Manchester United, is a whole. it's a mess. It is an absolute <laughs> mess. Yeah. I'm telling you, will, just, will the manager with 10 hogs still be in there? You know, I, I've heard so much about obviously a few dodgy, dodgy dealings going on with that club. The whole Anthony situation where they could have bought him for 35 million, but instead they spent 72 million or something. It's just a complete mess at their club, and they are awful as a team as well. Yeah, and he's right. We should be going there if they play the same way. We will beat them for me. Yeah, it, when we go to Old Trafford. So look, I think it's a bit of both. I think partly, yeah, it's of course a bit of mind games, but I actually think he's got a point clock. Like real talk, they are not good at all. Yeah, we've seen the drop off is insane. We've seen the drop off in standards in their fan base as well. It's just the standards are in the gutter for them as well. These are one of the biggest clubs in England. Yeah, and look, you know, look, look where they are now, and look at their fan standards. It, it's crazy, but.
yeah um yeah yeah definitely um see yeah um josh um this show definitely is um of course uh, josh can you hear me What is am I back, Tony? <laughs> McDonald's Wi Fi FC, guys. What is going on? <laughs> am I back? Josh, you're in two places. <laughs> Why are Why you in two team? places? Why is it two? Tony, I'm seeing you on two. Seeing... Wait, yeah, that's that's good now. Yeah, there we go. Well, I don't know what is going on. Yeah, sorry about that, man. My, my Wi Fi is moving mad, but um, yeah, what was yeah, I saying? No, um, no, I think. My even goods? my own, even my own Wi-Fi is moving mad. But can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you all good, man. All good. Yeah, you're good. You're good. But can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I think there might be a little delay, guys. I have no idea. <laughs> Technical difficulties, people, man. McDonald's Wi-Fi back again for me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is it me, guys, or is it is it Tony? No, he's there. He's there. Okay, he's good. Hello, Josh. Yeah, I'm here. I had to change my Wi-Fi to know if I was the problem, but I've changed it. I believe you can hear me now, right? Yeah, all, yeah, all good, man. Yeah, you're back. Nice. Yeah, all good. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, see, yeah, Josh, of course, this is a... Uh, Arsenal versus Bayern Munich, uh, 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 you know, of course, a preview. See, let, let's leave the premiership. I know we'll talk about, <laughs> there's still some other topics we have to talk about. Aston Villa, uh, the, you know, the, the, I heard that there's a suspension to one of the most important players coming down yeah. into that game uh, against Aston Villa in the weekend. But let's throw that all away. Let's talk about Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich lost against Edenham. Uh, 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 away from home uh, uh, last week. Uh, I think three goals to two. See, I heard of a couple of injuries, yeah, uh, in the weekend for them. But uh, just today, Fabricio Romano said something. He said, Manuel Noir, Kinsley Coleman, Leroy Sane, uh, Nasser, Alex Pavlovic are all back in the team training for Bayern today. Only Sacha Boe and Boanosa will miss the game against Arsenal, despite mm. Tuchel's words last week. What do you think about that, man? Tuchel, master plan, mind games in full effect. Mm, this game, man, this is what it's all about, though. Bayern Munich. Emirates, you know, I'm, I'm I'm buzzing for it. I'm feeling confident as well. I mean, yeah, I know they've got a few players back, as you just mentioned, the likes of Sane, Coleman. These are good players for them. But um, this game for me, we've seen how poor they've been in Bundesliga this season. You know, they've got six games in the Bundesliga, Tony. Yeah. I don't know how Tuchel's even in the job still. Yeah. And I know he's leaving at the end of the season. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've seen Bayern Munich's mentality. We've seen their standards, yeah. They sack managers. I mean, they sacked Malgusman for winning the Bundesliga last season. Exactly. Yeah, I, think, I think that's a bit harsh, but this is what they do by me. If, if you're not, if you're not delivering, you know, they sack managers pretty much year in year out because they got you know this crazy standards, and so does the fans as well. You know, no, no wonder all their fans want to go out as well. This is unacceptable mm -hmm. for them, you know, to be behind by Leverkusen, right? And this is the first time in years, bro. Like, I'm so used to Bayern Munich winning. I think we all are. It's actually became a, a tradition for Bayern Munich to win the Bundesliga year in, year out. They, they walk it every single season. Yeah, no matter what yeah. type of players they've got, no, no matter what manager they have, they seem to always win the Bundesliga. It's what they do. Um, for them to lose out, yeah, and I understand Leverkusen. They're having a mad season. Jerry Alonso's 
insane, yeah? Um, they're unbeaten still. I get that. But it's unacceptable for them for me to lose six games. And as you said, again, they lost yeah. again to that hiding bag team who were newly promoted, by the way, in the Bundesliga League last yeah. season. So, you know, I mean, Bayern fans want to go out and I'm not surprised. I'm really not. It's unacceptable for them. Um, and I think we have an advantage, obviously, going to this game. I feel like the no fans for Bayern Munich. I'm, I'm sure there'll be a few Bayern fans who sneak in as always. But, you know, mm, we're going to pretty much you know, do the whole away end as well. So the Emirates will be hostile. It'll be buzzing. We'll be fired up for it, I'm sure. But at the same time, Tony, and I get what people will tell me, oh, it's a different team now. I, you have to look at the history and you've got to look at some of the games because we, Arsenal by Munich, we've got a crazy history, yeah? We, we've yeah. played these a lot in the past. In Champions League, we're talking about, we played these a lot in the past and 5-1, 5-1, 5-1. Three years in a row, that is a 5-1. Yeah, I oh, think it'll be a different game. Of course, I do. Yeah, and I've seen mm. Bayern Munich in the Champions League this season. That game against Man United, we we just spoke about how my, how poor Man United are. Yeah, they beat Man yeah. United four three. You know, they 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 scraped to win and, against four. And three. that was at the Allianz Arena. That was at the Allianz Arena. Yeah, it was. An, it was a showdown down there, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, so. that four three. But but conceding three to Man United, Bayern Munich. It's, big it's ups, AJ, AJ, really, AJ but, Bat. Big ups, man. Big up, oh, AJ. Big up, AJ. Real one, real one. Yeah. Yeah, big up AJ, man. Um, but and then obviously they they drew with Copenhagen. I mean, they they lost to Lazio in the last sixteen, and I know they beat him second leg, but they lost to Lazio away from home. Lazio were tenth in the Serie A. Lazio had a, a had an ex Chelsea manager in Sarri. Yeah, they they're average in Serie A. You know, tenth place, and they lost one more to, to to Lazio. So, you know, their team who's been very inconsistent this season. Having said that, Tony, they do have. Hello, Josh. Okay, I think Josh, um, Josh system just it, it hung, <laughs> it hung up. Uh, but see, yeah, guys, yeah. Uh, just before he tries to I'm come back. back, okay, he's back. What is going You're on back. with my wife, guy, bro? Sorry about this, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, 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 no props, man. Seriously, no props, anyway, man. as I was saying, yeah, yeah. Manuel Neuer in goal, they got their main goalkeeper back. Um, they yeah. still got you know some great defenders. Kim Min Jae was bordering at. Uh, a great player at Napoli. He's in there now. He's a yeah. great centre back. You know their win backs, Kimmich and um, mm. Davis as well. You know they're, they're they're very very good midfield. You know they've got the likes of uh, Leon Goretzka, uh, Jamal mm. Musiala. Big. This guy's a quality player as well. And then we all know the guy out front for them, Harry Kane. This guy, Harry yeah, <laughs> loves the game. And he scored. Goals. Yeah, he actually scored in the weekend. He scored in the yeah. weekend. Yeah, goals mm. he scored this season oh for them. Too. It's crazy. Oh I days. always say this guy's quality, yeah? And I can say that now because he don't play for Tottenham anymore and he's won a Bayern Munich shirt. I always say this guy's quality. What he needs is just a trophy now to obviously back up to really mm. be classed as one of the elite strikers, yeah? But, you know, he loves a game against Arsenal. But what, what, what I will say is I'm very confident that Saliba and Gabriel will deal with Harry Kane because I've seen him do it to Haaland both games. Yeah, Saliba and Gabriel completely pocketed to Haaland both mm. games in, in, that, in that Man City game. So I've got a feeling that they will do it again. But what we'll say is Harry Kane is... I'm sorry to cut you down there, yeah. But yeah. Is, is Harry Kane, it, it, like, is he cut in a, with a different cloth? Because even when uh, Harry Kane was in the... Even when Harry Kane was in the league, yeah, I've actually seen him bamboozle... The, the, Magalhães and Saliba, uh, we can have that argument that you know they haven't really grown as a unit uh, at the time when uh, Kane was here in the league. But Kane did uh, mm -hmm. score some some goals against Arsenal, even when we had uh, uh, these defenders uh, playing one way or the other. Uh, do you think he will come in a different cloth, or he will come with a you know with a different dimension? And, and find a way through this Arsenal defence. Is he more different technically than Helen Haaland? Because Helen mm. Haaland is this guy, yeah? It's just, it's a one-way traffic. Yeah. Send the ball to him, he will bamboozle his way and get in and, and try and score a goal. But is there a different dimension to Harry Kane's game, yeah, that will give him the advantage of our Arsenal defenders? Yeah, no, no, no. I think that's a great point, and I think there is. I mean, if you were to ask me, like, in terms of like intelligence, I feel like Harry Kane's a much more intelligent striker than Haaland is, in my opinion. 
mm. just because okay. so, just looking at I mean we, we've, we've watched this guy for years I mean that guy can he, he gets one chance yeah. he'll, he'll, yeah. he'll take it you know and not he'll just that he's you. Even if, I mean, even if, for example, Saliba and Gabriel do him for like pace or whatever, yeah, he will still be able to find little pockets and just make something out, of no- make nothing out of something if that makes sense. You know, he can, mm-hmm. yeah, th- Harry Kane is quality. And for me, he's a much more intelligent striker than, than Erling Haaland is. I'm not taking anything away from Haaland because Haaland is, is, is a machine. Of course he is. He bads goals. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if you're looking as an overall player, I think Harry Kane overall is better. You know, Erlen Haaland is a great goal scorer. Don't you know he's bad goals for fun, but so does Harry Kane. But I talk about overall ability and overall player. I think Harry Kane is much more intelligent than Holland is. I think, yeah, it would not surprise me. I mean, I think the guy's got 14 times against Arsenal. You know, he loves to go against Arsenal and he, it wouldn't surprise me if he did score against us. But just the way how our defense has been forming this season, just the way how Gabriel and Sleeper have been as a you know unit as center backs. You know, hmm. we've been superb. We've been superb and it gives me so so much confidence that we'll deal with players like Harry Kane. But my issue is, yeah, this is where we need to sort something out. This left-back position. If he plays Zinchenko, I'm wrong. Oh. Big time. Zinchenko up against, of course, former player, Gnabry. He's coming back to the Emirates. And we, we saw what he did against Tottenham a few years ago when he came to London. Completely ripped them apart. Gnabry coming back to the Emirates, right? Don't play Zinchenko, please, answer. I do not play Zinchenko. Even against I'm, Brighton, I'm, even against see, Brighton, man, he's targeting this guy. But, but see, but see, I'll have to stop you down there, yeah, Josh. Let's have a little, a little bit of a discussion about that, yeah. We all know that we cannot play the same eleven going into all these matchups, yeah. We have the Premiership uh, uh, title to chase. We have the Champions League title to chase. We cannot keep playing Kivio in all the games. Uh, like how about, and this is not just from you. I see this complaint coming from uh, you know many other Goonies uh, and Arsenal fans out there. Yeah, and they're all complaining about Zichenko. I hear you. I hear you. But again, if we keep playing Kivio down there, yeah, and you, you know what said about this guy, we just get. But again, we still brought in Tomiyasu in the second half uh, because if if see yeah, the, the problem there is. Is that if we keep using this uh, uh, Kivio guy, what if he wants out even before the, uh, uh, you know, before the f- uh, 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 seven games even elapse? Uh, you know, th- sometimes we just have to manage the team, uh, manage no, the I... team, make sure that everyone is, uh, you know, is ready and okay to, to to give their own share, you know, in this. No, I hear that, and also no, in the no. Champions League. No, yeah, I hear yeah. That. No, I'm, that's not that's for, I'm not all up for. I'm not all up for. Give you a playing all the games. That, that's no, what I'm yeah, literally that's, saying. Of course, not, and I hear that. But what I'm saying is, is like for this game in particular, Sinchenko's played the past two, Luton and, and Brighton. Time to drop him. Yeah, this is a big game. Bring back Kivio or play Tomiyasu there. At the end of the day, right? We all know about Sinchenko defensively. The guy is a liability. Yeah, as I said, even against um, Brighton, there's a reason why the, the, the Zerbi put that Ivory Coast win on, on his side. Because he knows that's the weakest link. And it's, what, it's exactly what Bayern Munich will do as well. That if Zinchenko starts, he will be the weak link. He's great going forward. He's great inverting. He's great, you know, technically and all this. Yeah, and brings a lot going forward. But when we need to defend, that guy is a liability. It's as simple as that. So I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Of course, because Kivior, you know, he's been playing there. Been playing quite a lot of games there as well. Um, but now what I'm saying is Zinchenko has played the past two. Time to drop him. And for this type of big game, you have played Tomiyasu or... Um, Kiev, you're there because I think they're so much better suited as well. Because this, this game for me will be end to end as well. You know, Bayern Munich will get chances and we're going to have to defend as well as attack. Um, so oh, we're going to need okay. a proper left back there who can, you know, deal with Gnabry as well. Otherwise, if, if Gnabry is against Zinchenko, Gnabry's going to have a field day. You know, he's going to have it's, a field day. Just real we need so, a brute down there who's ready to take his legs off. And, and 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 actually malhandle Gnabry because Gnabry is this kind of player, yeah. When he smells blood, he goes for it, yeah. But yeah. It, when he senses that you know you're a kind of <laughs> defender that's a no nonsense taking kind of defender, you know, he he'll roll sport with you. He will use his head, uh, you know, rather than his heart. And I don't think that game is a game for Zichenko. Zichenko will leave us completely exposed. 
boost uh, uh, down the left hand side. I'm okay using Zichenko in the Premiership, uh, uh, you know, just a little, just to give a little bit of a breather uh, uh, down to Kivio for the most important game. Because whether we like it or yeah. not, this Bamini game is a very, very important game. But see, since we since we're talking about defensive. A uh, 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 cohesion. Let's talk about this Bayern Munich defense. Which defense do you think will show up against Arsenal? Uh, because they have uh, they use Kim down there, six foot plus uh, defender. He had uh, a seven point four rating, uh, uh, of course, last weekend when they, they play against Edelham. Uh, Open Cano came in. Open Cano is looking treacherous this season, man. Horrible. He's so overrated. Sure. I don't even care. That He's so Cano overrated. Guy, How is that this guy, guy so much? How is that guy getting ahead of William Saliba in that French team? <laughs> Doesn't make sense, does it? That guy, what, I'm sorry. So what every is time the time I that guy, Yeah, exactly. What every time I watch that guy, smoking? every time I watch the Pokemon Carno, he, he, he looks like a bozo. Like, he, look, he looks oh, like he's bound to make he, a mistake. He's a bozo. That, that, that bruv. Bro, his, his attitude down there at Van Munich, mostly at the back, as a, as a part of the centre-back mm-hmm. pairing down there. It's horrible, man. Horrible show. This guy has gotten, I, I, I can, at least I know of about two red cards I've seen watching Bayern Munich this season. At least I've seen two red cards being dished out to him. I don't know about yeah. the, the rest of the games he's played, but I know I can confirm for sure he's gotten nearly up to two red cards. He's a very rough player. He doesn't know how to make timed tackles like um, uh, William Saliba. He isn't careful when making tackles either. And clinical like um, William Saliba when make going on those tackles, his positional awareness isn't really top notch. Uh, mm. Yeah, he's a battler. Yeah, he can fight. Yeah, aerially he can be able to uh, uh, scuffle for those balls. He's not the tallest either. But, uh, I just don't think this guy beats William Saliba one on one. No chance. Absolute no chance. Never. People overhype this guy so much. And Booker McConnell, yeah? Okay, he was good at Leipzig when he was there, yeah? But as I said, every time that this guy is bound to make a mistake, he's, you know, a guy who, as I said, looks like a just a walking red card as well. As you mentioned there, yeah? He's reckless, yeah? He's in reckless, day, right? If they, if Shout they out to Mama with... Flossie, who is in the chart. Yeah. Mama Flossie, Mama Flossie, good evening. Yeah. How are you doing, Mama Flossie? Hope you're okay. Yeah. Mama Flossie, is also, she is my head moderator down here big up to you yeah. mama mm-hmm. how are you doing afc always is also down here afc always what do you think about that bam minic arsenal matchup to be nice to hear from you yeah, about what you think man. you know guys dropping your predictions for that matchup as we talk about it yeah talk to us true if, uh, true if they play um dyer <laughs> eric dyer and the poker Meccano, i must say have a so everyone out front and our winners again we'll we'll have a field day please too cool please play dino poker Meccano. Yeah, but if, if they play Kim and Jay or the Lit and both of them together, that is where I mean those two are solid centre backs. The Lit's a solid centre back. He's been solid. struggling with injuries, but he's a solid centre back. And so well, again, I don't know if he's I don't know if he's injury free for this matchup. There we That's go. another problem. But hopefully, hopefully, like I don't wish anyone to get injured, but for this game. <laughs> Diana Pukamakano, uh, please. Well, of course Pukamakano. I am. Bro, you're a nice guy. Me, I'm not nice in this thing. I wish injuries on all of them. <laughs> I wish injuries and bad luck to all of them. Because, I see, man, I, I need to win this trophy. And I was, yeah. Yeah, I will knock on all doors and leave nothing unturned. Yeah, and throw all the stones and make sure I shake the tables to make sure that Arsenal wins the, the, the Champions League or the league this season. Of course. See, it's very, very important, yeah, that we win these titles. It's in, it at is. least one of them. It's extremely important. And the, the reason why I'm saying this is very important, yeah, is that people might not understand this, yeah? Mikel Arteta has gotten this team to this point where we're now challenging. Now it's now challenge. You challenged last season. This season now, we're now challenging. So it's a sustained challenge. If he doesn't win this trophy to cap up what he's done, the legitimacy of this manager in this football club, yeah, uh, 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 the trophies is thrown away will still be lingering mm-hmm. around him. So it, it's like, hey, you've taken us to back-to-back challenges, but there's yeah. no trophies to show to show for it. And that's what people want to see. That's what the fan base want to see. I mean, some of the fan base of this football club, maybe they just want to see improvement. I, I don't just want to see improvement. 
I also want to see us win the titles. So if Mikel Arteta doesn't legitimize his, his, you know, his managerial uh, experience down here with a trophy this season, that there's a you know there's a big question mark lingering around him this season if he doesn't get it. That, that, no, do you feel that same kind of pressure that, for there, Mikel Arteta? There, there. there has to be. There, look, there has to be. But but the issue is is this guy will be staying nevertheless, Tony. You know the, the, these owners are going to keep him. This, the, it wouldn't not surprise me. And I, I, it's bound to happen. This guy will stay. If we win nothing this season, he will sign a new contract extension for sure. Because they were talking about this, they were it mid-season um, a few months ago as well. So the owners are, really will want this on set because they've hyped the guy up. All his process was and phases and, and all this now. And, and they've backed him massively. Yeah. You know, Massive. if he, this for me, yeah, he, he's going to be staying and he's going to be spending. And I'll say another 200 million in the summer plus January as well. This guy will end up spending one billion at a football club. I'm sorry. Now you oh have to start goodness. delivering our trophies. Yeah, I give him big, yeah. big, big credit. Yeah, massive credit for getting us back where we belong. Yeah, title challenges. Yeah, uh, being yeah. in the Champions League. Yeah, that's all down to him. Fair play to answer. He's got us back into the race. He's got back up, back up, back. He's got us into the big picture. Yeah, as one of those, yeah. you know, serious clubs again. And, you know, and he's mm. got a great squad along with him, which he's you know built as well. You know, he's got his own players. This is his own players. This is his own squad that he chose by design. Now what we need is success. Now what we need is trophies. And if you yeah. can't give us trophies, then yes, there should be many, many question marks. I mean, look, you need to compare to other clubs as well, like Bayern Munich. I've just spoke about them, how they're ruthless in sacking managers. I'm um, struck that two cool stayed for the whole season, really. But they sat managers... Even if they win the league title, like now was Even result, if they win yeah. the league titles, yeah, the, really, the standards are always upheld down there. Yeah, you, think of, you know, uh, Real Madrid as well. You know, like look how many managers they go through, and it's not yeah. surprising that these two are the two, you know, most successful clubs that we've seen really in terms of winning Champions Leagues, in terms of winning the league titles. If, so, if Mikel Arteta takes us to the Champions League final and um, loses. The, the yeah. Premiership title for some reason on same points against my, maybe with Man City winning the title maybe based on the same points but maybe on goal difference. Mm. Uh, will you still make a case there for is, this manager? To, there is, is, is there a case? For me, is there, there is, a case for this manager yeah. to stay another season? Is, is there a reason if he doesn't win the, this two this two trophy? This is just for me. Yeah, just my personal opinion, right? For me, right, I think, yeah, you've got to add a bit of context in that. Yeah, what I want Arsenal to be doing is going to the wire. Well, I said it earlier, this Premier League last seven games, go to the wire. Yeah, I wasn't talking about final day settings. Go to the wire. Really, I don't want to see us dropping off, yeah? And Champions League, if he gets to the final loses, okay, we move, yeah? And we go again next season. Um, look, I think, because... Look, for me, all I want to see, what the main thing is, I want to see this Arsenal team, you know, competing for everything. And I, I, I hear it, you know, we got win trophies. And yeah, even if, look, even if he did get to Champions League final, yeah, and, and lost, and even if um, he, we did get to the wire uh, all the way to the Premier League, I still think there's, there should be a few question marks on the next season that he has to deliver a trophy because once again, he's going to be spending. So which, we'll get, which we'll get means you want him to stay again? Which was he should stay again? <laughs> After no, this. because no, but if he because, doesn't win a trophy, and I, I just want to be certain, because, there's no, there's there no harm be, in you saying that he could stay another season. There's completely no problem if you say that. But yeah, but that's what I said. I said if he doesn't win okay. these trophies and it takes us to the Champions League yeah. final yeah. and he bottles the league again and maybe he loses it by a hair's breath, yeah. But we challenge and we got to the Champions League final. Does he still stay? at this football club next season? It's yeah, a yes or no answer, Josh. He, yeah, does. he does. And he there's does. a and there's a case for him to, to stay. On what basis would you want him to stay? Is it based on the because... premise that he has improved the team? Or is it on the premise that, uh, that you see us winning something at the horizon next season? Uh, like, what's the premise through which he's going to stay if he doesn't win a trophy but takes us to the Champions League final and takes us to the dregs of the league this season. Well, okay. So, look, firstly, right? Look, firstly, I think you got to add a little bit of context. It's just my opinion, yeah? you got to add a little bit of context to it. Because, as I just said, yeah, 
if we go down to the wire, I'll, that's mm. what I want to see after doing. We need to be competing for everything, Tony. Yeah. So going down to the wire in yeah. the Champions League final, yeah, and going down to the wire in the Premier League, yeah, that that is us competing to the end, yeah. And yeah. as you said, like, if we just lose out on whatever it may be, you know, it is what it is. But then, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. If if we get to the wire, I'll give him another season. This is my opinion. You give him another season, okay. yeah. Yeah, gonna spend more money, Josh, but how, then... Josh, how easy was that? It's an opinion. If anyone doesn't, yeah. you know, doesn't like your opinion, screw them. Uh, you know, yeah, it's cool. your opinion that, that, then... that the manager should stay if he yeah. takes us to a Champions League final. It's your, it's your, you know, it's your prerogative, and I really understand that, and I see where you're coming from. You know, of course, it's your own idea, but again, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, <sighs> it's a dicey one. It's a very dicey one. You know, but again, man, if he doesn't win these trophies, man, <laughs> no, this is what I'm saying. Like, if he doesn't yeah, win these trophies, if, man, even if he takes us to the Champions League yeah, final, no, uh, bro. As I said, if he gets Champions League final, and as I said, mm. we, we get to the you know end of the Premier League, and we compete, is I'm fine. Give him one more season. He will spend more money. As I said, he'll be up to one billion. But then, seriously, like, there's no more excuses left after that for, for this guy because this next season, he's gonna said we're gonna spend a lot of money. He has to win something seriously, yeah. And we and we have to do the exact same thing, but actually go and win. I expect now next season we we if we don't win a Premier League this season, it has to be next season, seriously. Because how long are we gonna go on like this for, Tony? You know. Yeah, I you know, get that. I get 20, 20 that. Years, but, so, so in other words, if it takes us to the Champions League final and we yeah. don't win, and it he, he takes uh, this title chase to the end and he doesn't win, is it unfair? Would it look unfair for us to sack him? Will it be unfair for the Arsenal to sack him? Mm. <sighs> you know, in your own thoughts, will yeah. it be unfair? Would you say Mikel Arteta has been unfairly done? But it, will that be the conversation? It's unfair. Look at what he has done to the team. Look, look at the, the, he took us to the Champions League final. Which manager has done that apart from Asen Wenger, who's our most legendary manager? So I don't know. Look, this is this is a thing. Yeah, this is a thing. Like I'm just looking at other clubs. Like as I mentioned about Bayern and Real Madrid, right? Mm. You know, say say if that happened to them, they would sack their manager, wouldn't they? Like real talk. They would. So, the, the, but the thing is, like, what I don't get, right, is these owners, they're going to, even if he wins nothing, even if this guy dropped off this season, Tony, yeah, and we finished third and we didn't, and we got knocked out by Bayern Munich, this manager will be staying because the, the, okay. the owners back this guy. The, you know, the owners have hyped this guy up a lot. There's a, you know, they, they gave him over 700 million to spend. You know, they've, this is this whole pop, these whole buzzwords with you know trust the process and we're in phase four and phase five. We we, we yeah. didn't get with any other we didn't get this with any other manager really that we, that we had yeah. in the past. So you, yeah. they're, they're really behind this guy. They really think that this guy can do do something for us. I, I mean, I hope they do because that that is what should be happening. We should be going to win the Premier League, winning Champions Leagues. We should be because we don't want one in history. And as I said it's been twenty years since we won a Premier League title. So as I said, for me. I don't see any more excuses left for this manager. You know, he's got his own players now. This is his own squad. Um, you know, I do, as I said, I do expect trophies, which is why I was so annoyed with the FA Cup and Cowboy Cup that yeah. just been away. Um, yeah. But then for me, as you, as you ask a context question, if we get Champions League final and we lose out. Um, and if we get Premier League, uh, Premier League towards the end of the season, we compete. That's what I'm happy with. Just compete. Go down to the wire. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see his team bowl anything. Or, well, I guess that's Definitely. funny. Go down to the wire and, you know, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's talk about other parts and other uh, pathways through Arsenal, through which Arsenal could be able to uh, uh, sting uh, 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 the Bavarians when they visit uh, us down here at the Emirates. See, yeah, look at what a AJ Bat says here, he says Harry Kane is a different player to Ellen Haaland. Is so ultimately, uh, we'll, we will need Rice and Jorginho mm -hmm. or Partey to be ready for him because I honestly don't believe Gabriel Magalish and Saliba will do much 
we'll get into that. That's just a separate one. Let's get into the defense because we're talking about the defense. Yeah, and we'll see get back to that uh, uh, stuff AJ said because there's some very important things we need to deconstruct from that place. Alfonso Davis, Kimmich, left back, right back. Do you think these guys have the propensity to actually, uh, 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 you know, uh, kind of disarm the bomb? That Arsenal will will kind of try to detonate down there, at, you know, at the Emirates. Are these guys capable? Or can we have a run in? Because personally, I do see Kimmich as a weak link uh, mm. this season. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, of course, I I believe he's a decent player, but he, you know, he's not really my kind of preference in a, you know, in a right back. But I, I don't think uh, I, I don't rate him. But I, See, it could be a decent, decent player, a good player, but personally, I don't really rate him. I don't think he's one of the best in the world. Uh, I don't want to see him at Arsenal. I've seen him being linked to Arsenal. I don't want him anywhere near there. I think the players we have right now are better. If we, if we're going for, you know, in see, we should even be going for more better uh, players than Kimmich. I, I don't think we really need him down there. Uh, Alfonso Davis has been, you know, his form has been dwindling this season also. The same thing, I, I don't think his, his head is there right now because he's also thinking of his contract situation because he has had a protracted contract situation at, uh, you know, at Bayern Munich. So he hasn't signed a new deal just yet. So I don't know. There are problems down there. So Alfonso Davis, Kimmich, that you know, they have problems. Goretzka has one game good today. The next day is is falling off, chasing midfielders in the German Bundesliga. Mm. Uh, underwhelming this season. Come on, man. Let's don't. Let's don't. Uh, you know, let's don't herald these guys as if there's something, uh, but they're not. Yeah, their front three. Yeah, I can say that. Mosiala. Mola, okay, even Mola has been having dwindling, has been having a dwindling season this season, yeah. But Gnabry looks okay. Kane has been firing on all cylinders, you know. Even Gnabry has been having injuries all, all through the season, also. So, what do you think, man? Kimmich Alfonso Davis. Yeah, um, it's interesting because, as I said, that for me, I've seen Alfonso Davis against um, Dortmund, and he looked very, very mm. shaky. And yeah, as you said, I think that's a great point. Like psychological, right? Um, yeah, he, he's gonna be thinking about you know that whole contract situation, and, and that, that could be on his mind. Um, you know, it's yeah. gonna be a great, it's gonna be a great, um, you know, battle between him and Saka for sure. Um, yeah. Because we we know, we know how rapid the guy is, Alfonso Davis. But yeah, Kimmich and me, I've seen a lot of Bayern fans say he's he's, he's been poor this season. You know, <sighs> he's been you know at right back, he's been poor. So on the world, you can get someone like yeah. Martinelli on him. Yeah, again, as you said, that could be a possible weak link for you know because I think we're, we're gonna need pace uh, for this game um, because we're gonna need. To, I forgot to say this. We're gonna need to score a few goals uh, for this first leg yeah. for me. You know, um, we it's all it's very important to get a good result. You know, a very like. Get a, get the arrogant up, you know. You know, go go into that game, uh, second leg, Allianz Arena, um, with something, you know, to, to to go into that game and certainly not lose at Emirates. Otherwise, I feel like it'd be a very long day at, um, at at Allianz. You know, if we can get like a, a yeah. good deficit and a clean sheet, hopefully, I feel very confident we can go through the home uh, this this Champions League, you know, to the semi finals. But yeah, I feel like we can definitely. That's why we need pace. So Martinelli, we we'll get him on him, get on Kimmich. I feel he yeah. can get on some problems, you know. So and mm -hmm. you know, I swear Kimmich was a CDM, and now he's playing right back for them. It's and now he's playing yeah. right back. I, yeah, all, I, yeah. I know it's not his position, but come on, man. Still, man, I, I used to rate that guy, you know, as a CDM, but man, yeah. as a right back, man, I, I'm not, I'm not buying that narrative, man. He looks poor, yeah. like he's not fast enough. His head isn't in it, you know. He looks weak and frail. Uh, I, I, I don't know in that right back position as a midfielder that's a totally different story but as a right back I'm, I'm not really sold on it yeah exactly and you know we can definitely I think hopefully they as we said like their defence we can really get at you know especially if they play them two centre backs that we've just spoken about um, mm. it's just but what we'll say going forwards Bayern Munich like Davis is very good he's rapid going forward um, he's a great player going forward and offensively he's the same with Kimmich as well 
you know, decent as well in terms of build-up play and, 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 you know, building up the play for them. So, you know, they're good going forward, but defensively, I feel like we can definitely get get at them. And as yeah, I said, okay. if we can get, you know, two-goal lead, three-goal lead, whatever it may be going into that Allianz Arena game, I feel very confident because we've seen the way how we played against Man City, you know, that nil-nil game. As, yeah. as much as we should have won the game, in my opinion, we can do yeah. similar against them and he'd make and Bayern will be very frustrated and I've seen Bayern get frustrated I mean I saw them against Villarreal a few years ago when Emery yeah. went there and played a very similar way I saw them when they went to uh you know yes uh, uh last season against Man City and they got knocked out in the quarterfinals even this season yeah. you know Man United they conceded three to Man United so you know I definitely think their defense is very very uh, leaky at times and you know they're, they're a very yeah. inconsistent team and the fact that they're second and the fact that they're they they, they lost that game as well Coming to the Emirates, their momentum may be, you know, maybe in the gutter. Let's be real with it. You know, their yeah. their like confidence and that and the, yeah, the, the momentum is will be a bit shattered because of what they've been doing in in the Bundesliga season. So, yeah, um, and 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 the fact as well, Emirates, so they've got no fans as well. But I mean, the the whole away section also can fill it up. So it's gonna be rocking, and I'm very confident we we can beat them at Emirates. Um, as I said, if we do. You know, lose this game at the Emirates. I feel like it'd be a very, very long day going to the second leg. Like it's got to be a win at the Emirates. Get a decent deficit. Go into that second leg. We can play. You know, similar to how you did against Man City, hopefully, and go through to the semi-finals. I, and I assume we will, man. I'm very confident. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying yeah. this because usually when we're playing against Bayern Munich in recent years, it's that whole oh god, Bayern Munich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, That's sure. They don't, they, they don't have the same set of players that. No, they don't. Have, I mean, of in those in those games that we disgracefully exited the uh, you know Europe at, at at those times. But see, let me give you a background to what I'm talking about right now. But the Bayern Munich has lost two back to back games. Very important, yeah. Uh, this narrative I'm I'm trying to conjure uh, right here, yeah. And I'm I'm talking I'm talking about this uh, because of their midfield. I'm talking of Goretzka uh, 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 and um, this guy. Uh, what's his name? Lamar. Yeah, both of yeah. them in the midfield. Back to back games. These players have played in the midfield. Back to back, they failed in that midfield. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Against Edeham, number one. Against Borussia Dortmund, number two. The coach, Thomas Tuchel, still places his trust on this guy. So that leads me to understand, yeah, that he is going to play these same two guys. He trusts them. In fact, he says midfield marshals. So they will be coming down to the Emirates. Now, this is my drift right here. Ian. Thomas Partey, who is ex more experienced yeah, in European nights like this. See, yeah, Josh, I can't uh, underestimate what Thomas Partey has done in Europe. Yeah? Exactly. Both for us playing in playing in the Europa League and both for, uh, you know, his adventures down there at Atletico Madrid. Uh, the, you know, European night is night. Do you think, yeah, that this kind of a game is a kind of game you throw Thomas Partey in it? Because uh, if if you're talking about Goretzka and Lamar, that, I'm telling you, man, Thomas Partey, Declan Rice, and Odegaard can totally shut down that midfield and make sure that these guys don't have a sniff in that midfield. I really do think so. If it mm. was you, would you be throwing uh, uh, Thomas Partey into the frying pan? Also, I, put into perspective that he also had a very brilliant game uh, against Luton. Against Luton, yeah, no, spot on. Um, I I said it today I, in my preview. Yeah, that I, I really want to see the midfield of Partey, Odegaard, and Declan Rice. I really do because mm. Jorginho, look. Again, like Jorginho, I don't mind if you know what I don't even mind if you go to Jorginho or party, but, but I don't but, mind if Jorginho plays, but you personal know. preference, I want to see party in there, yeah, because he, he's been looking sharp. I think he's ready, you know, to start mm. this big game as well. And as you said, with, yeah. with the midfield battle, I think we'll win the midfield battle, yeah. When oh, I mean, by far, look, Goretzka's a decent player, yeah. I've always rated the guy, but when you got that guy, what's his name, Lee Liama, whatever his name is, L the ex yeah, yeah, Liama, yeah, yeah Liama, yeah. Lamar. I call him Lamar anyway, yeah, yeah. Lamar, yeah, he's he, he's he's average, let's be real, he's average, and I think he's, he's, he's average, good. even Goretzka is a good player, but he's a good player, season, but I think he's been, on, he's been underwhelming really. this season, yeah, he, he hasn't been consistent with his midfield uh, 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 prowess this season, man, he's been leaking this season, to be very sincere with you, he hasn't been really looking good. 
This no, he season. hasn't. So, so uh, it, it's from one good performance uh, to the next one. It's a bad performance. It's mm. Very inconsistent. In fact, he is the walking definition of inconsistency. Yes, but on, in, 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 in this season. Look, as I said, if he goes with Jorginho or Papati, you know, I don't really mind. I feel like Jorginho for these games as well is is suited. You know, we're seeing how good the guy is when it comes to playing, you know, against, I mean, we saw his performances against Liverpool. We saw him against, uh, you know, his performances against Emirates, against Man City. These, you know, big touts against, yeah. he has that experience. You know, he's um, very, very good in these, in these types of games as well. Um, and so I honestly wouldn't mind if he goes Jorginho. But it's, it's like with uh, Kivio and Tommy Asu, really. I don't mind if he goes with any of them at left back. Um, just personal preference, I'll go Tommy Asu over Kivio because... I've just seen Tom Yasu playing left back before. We saw it, we saw what the guy did against Mo Salah, didn't we? Um, oh, so oh, 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 I feel like yeah. he'll do Gnabry very, very well. I've got a feeling. So, yeah, um, I, I, I really want to see Pai, uh back in this team. Really want to okay. see this guy play him. Uh, so you want to see him play. start tomorrow? Yeah, is I want to see Pai start tomorrow. See. But again, okay. I don't and, and then you'll, you'll drop Jorginho to the bench. Yeah, but, I, but at the same time, as I said, I, I don't mind if he goes to Jorginho. But personal preference for me, Party for me, I want to see him in there. I think he's looked ready. He's looked sharp when he's played, you know, he um, came off the bench uh, recently as well. It, I think he's ready to start. I'll prefer him in this game. And as I said, I think that midfielder party... Big up to E. Own. Ross, who's on the yeah. show. Big up to E. Ross. He's a, he's a big yeah. member of this match, and I won't forget E. Ross. E. Ross, big up to you, man. And of course, Oregon Guna. Po, po, po. That's my brother. I have a show with him. He'll be down here tomorrow. That's my brother, yeah. Big up to you, Oregon Big up Guna. Now, man. You know, big up to you. Uh, Oregon Guna, no, we'll be meeting on Wednesday. Sorry, on Wednesday. That's when we're meeting because we have a Champions League matchup. Yeah, tomorrow. game tomorrow, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah, 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 sure. So Oregon will be seen on Wednesday. Yeah, we're saying something, Josh. Uh, yeah, I was just saying, um, as I said, I'll, I'll go party. Uh, and I think that midfielder, Declan Rice, party and Odegaard. It's crazy, by the way, that we've seen that start. We've, we've only seen that midfield start together once in the Community Shield. It's quite mad. Like. Yeah. And and on paper you look at it and you think that that's our that's our best midfield. Like on paper you have got Thomas Party, yeah. you got Declan Rice, and Odegaard. So I really want to see that midfield. Um, and yeah, um, I think that our midfield walks their midfield. I, I really do. You know. I, okay, I, I, you really think so? Good. Yeah. Let's move into the next one. How do we stop Musiala, uh, the, the Gnabry, uh, the Harry Kane from a three pronged attack uh, uh, coming to to haunt Arsenal tomorrow? Uh, because this manager, yeah, that I'm talking of Tuchel in this case, even if he has been underwhelming in terms of uh, his defence and his midfield, uh, they've actually let him down this season. But his attack is the lifeblood of this Bayern Munich team. And of course, the kind of quality uh, that they have down there, of course, uh, the Musiala, uh, uh, Gnabry, you know, that come on, man, Harry Kane, you know, he has a wealth of... Um, of um, you know attacking uh, uh, players to actually bail him out if indeed he wants to go head to head and go on a, you know an all out attack at Arsenal and send the dogs for us uh, you know he can if he if he if he intends to do that but but what do you think how do you think Arsenal should contain these players when they come uh, on that three pronged attack uh, uh, that we're going to be facing tomorrow just uh, two for them Tony. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, um, just no, like real talk. Yeah, I feel like, um, look, we we all know about their attacking players. Yeah, you know their attacking threats. You know, lots of, uh, you, you know, you mentioned Musiala. I mean, that guy. I swear he's got like blue yeah. tweet or something, bro. I don't know how oh that guy God. dribbles like that, man. He, he he always looks like he's gonna lose the ball, but then he doesn't. It's like, yeah, this guy. Then he doesn't. He's just a, a baller. Player. Yeah, he's a baller, but. Mm. You know, you, you, I said the 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 you know the winners will be you know the win backs our defenders will have to be key as well. Where mm -hmm. Ben went up against whether it, whether they play Coleman, he's a quality player. Coleman, whether they play Sane on his on his side because what they do by Munich is they usually like rotate. I've noticed they, they rotate the winners around. It might be Gnabry yeah. on Ben White's side. So yeah, I think that is going to be a key a key matchup as well is our, our winners, and that's why I said that it's important to have a quality left back. Who can defend there and deal with whoever's on the win for them, um, and it's all about for them whether they they can get the service to Harry Kane because a lot of Bayern fans are saying if Harry Kane doesn't get the service, he goes he, he ghosts he, he goes it goes numb he goes numb yeah. he goes numb. So I think if we so. can you know prevent that service to Harry Kane, 
I honestly think that is their main threat. Yeah, Harry Kane is that is the main threat. We, we we spoke about him before. He's a quality player, but if we can um, yeah. prevent that, you know, them getting it, to, you know, that service sack. And I, I get they've got other ballers as well in their team, but I think that's a, that's the main guy because he he goes missing, and we've seen how in, inconsistent Bayern have been this season as well. So and and also as well, yeah, yeah. if if we get an, you know an early goal, yeah, I've I honestly think they'll crumble Bayern Munich. I don't think they'll crumble. I've seen them how inconsistent they've been this season. We get an early goal, one nil up early on, and yeah, I honestly think you know we can go and get a second goal nearest to the time and kill kill this game off. I really think I'm very confident. And kill the game I'm off. Very, I'm very confident. Yeah, time. yeah, and kill the game off. Uh, the, but again, uh, let's see, yeah. Uh, <sighs> but how many goals should be okay uh, that Arsenal should be able to win? in this game to take that win uh, uh, to the Allianz Arena. You know, uh, the Allianz Arena is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a horrible thing. Yeah? Come on, man. It's nightmare, yeah? Yeah. At Helm Street for the Arsenal. Yeah, it, it's literally a Freddy Krueger kind of... <laughs> it brings that Freddy Krueger kind of feeling uh, uh, down your spine when you, you know, when you see uh, uh, the Arsenal, the Allianz Arena. It's a, it's a horrible, horrible place. Mm. It's a place where many dreams have been torn apart. It, uh, personally, my own dreams down there at the Allianz Arena has been torn apart, you know, down there. I've seen it, you, you know, I, I understand it. How many goals will it will be enough for Arsenal to pump these guys up with, yeah? And um, uh, and take down there to to the Allianz Arena. How, how many would be decent enough uh, the, the goals to to go down to the Allianz Arena, uh, go down there, play our game, feel free and feel more relaxed that we're not going to lose at the Allianz Arena. How many? By how many goals should we win? I think at least. Uh, well, I said it. Get a two 0 win, at least. Keep a clean sheet. Mm. Score at least two two to three goals because. That way, I mean, even if we win the game 2-0, they're going to have to beat us. They're going to have to score three in the Allianz Arena, yeah? And as I mentioned before, the way how we played against Man City just <laughs> proved to me that we can go to these places and we can put up a similar performance like that. As much as it's not that exactly. as much as we should win, we can play the similar way. And as I said before, Bayern will get frustrated. I've seen them get frustrated many, many, many times, you know, where the teams, you know, they, they struggle to break a team down and they end up capitulating and, and, and bottling it and not me blowing it. I saw the, what happens if, when they play Villarreal. Emery did the exact same thing and look what happened. So if we can get a good deficit, a 2-0 win, hopefully, that's what my, that's my prediction as well. I think we'll win 2-0. Uh, clean sheet. We, you know, we go into Allianz with a clean sheet. I feel very, very confident. So I understand Allianz Arena, as you just said, it's a different ball game. Let's be real with it. I mean, oh my god, it, it, it's and, gonna be hostile, man. And the the fans thing, are gonna be angry, they're gonna yeah, be angry exactly. that they couldn't come into the Emirates, yeah, there, exactly. Bro. And, totally, and it's, the, and it's a literal well. slaughterhouse, yeah. Yeah, it's a it slaughterhouse is. For the it Arsenal. is. And it's it's Arsenal's away form as well in, in the Champions League has not been that good. Oh, that let's not get twisted. I mean, we, we lost to Lons mm. 2 1, hostile atmosphere. We lost to um, Porto the first leg, hostile atmosphere 1 0. We drew a PSV. I know it's a dead rubber game. It's all not that great performance wise away from home. We beat Severe 2 1, yeah, but that second half, we rolled a lot completely. And I don't know how we even won the game at that game. So away from home, Arsenal do struggle in the Champions League for sure. At home, we're, it's a fortress, yeah. No, no team has scored against Arsenal in the Champions League so far at the Emirates. We've won every single game at the Emirates. And we look very, very convincing at the Emirates. You know, we won 4 0 PSV. We won 2 0 Severe, but it should have been more. We dominated the game and we beat Lon 6 0. And also, we beat Porto 1 uh, 0 and we won on penalties. So we've been looking very good at home in the Champions League. So I'm very confident we, we will get the win in the first leg. Second leg, if we do enough in the first leg, I, I do see our sky in second leg, playing similar to Man City and getting the job done and going to the semi finals. Okay, see, uh, I want to know the, the different ways that we can be able to win this game. Do we sit back? Now, just listen to what I'm saying, yeah? Tell me if I'm wrong in any of this stuff. Should we just sit back and, uh, and watch what they do, come at us, and um, and, and, and literally pick them apart uh, through counter-attacks? No, not. If not that, throw that all away. I've yeah. seen Bayern Munich this season. I've seen them play. I know how they play. And I've also seen that they don't like being being attacked. They don't like being pressed. In fact, when they're pressed, they're susceptible to more mistakes this season. Mm. 
I saw them give two goals away in nearly about one minute. I think Drew Gunners just said that in his chart. And, and that's due to heavy metal press from Hellingham, yeah. you know, in the weekend. And, and they no. gave the ball away and two, two goals, you know, straight, quick goals in. So mm. do we press these guys or do we, you know, keep a mid block, you know, bid our time, make sure we don't uh, concede any goal, give them any any chances and then, you know, hit them when we can. Like, what's the best route? Or do we just sit in that mid block and look balls into Kai have a six foot plus guy, uh, you know, a thorn in the flesh of these defenders. Uh, he'll be an handful for them and, and and, you know, it could get goals. Which dimension should Arsenal be looking at? Should we go on, on ballistic on them? What should we do to get um, the win? Yeah, no, we should not be sitting back in the first leg by any means. Yeah, Go go, go at them, press them high. Uh, take, yeah, go to the store of them pretty much. This is what I feel like it'll be an open game. It's going to be, you know, both teams for me will have chances. You know, I feel like Bayern will have their fair chances and I saw Arsenal because we have to go for the game in the first leg, Tony. We can't be sitting back. Yeah. As I said, yeah. we need to get a good, we need to get a good deficit in this first leg to have confidence. In the second leg, if we have a good deficit... Big up, Malia. Malia, big ups to you. Malia, you know we love you. Big ups. Yeah. Big up, Malia. But, yeah. Um, as I said, like, sit back when we have a good, you know, deficit in the first leg. Sit back when we play in the Alliance and, as I said, play some to Man City, but not in the first leg. No, you know, go at them, you know, press them really high, and yeah, take the game to them. And you know, as I said I think it's, it's going to be one of those open games, but it's about whether this team can do enough in the first leg for you know for me to go and uh, be confident that we're going to go for to the semi-finals, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely, my definitely, my brother, man. See ya. Yeah. Kai Havertz scored in the weekend, man. <laughs> Josh, I knew he's just, before up, guys, go, I knew it. <laughs> just before we go, Josh, uh, uh, because you still don't want to agree that this guy is making you look like a donut. I've, <laughs> I've accepted my law. <laughs> I've accepted my law. He's made me completely look like a donut. Has he made you look like a donut? Do you agree? Right yet, now. Or you've yeah. not yet. If you say he no. hasn't made you look like a donut, I would accept it. He's made me look like a donor. I thought he would score maybe like three goals this season. But he is surprised. Yes. I'm shocked. And and you know what, yeah? I'm not going to propel my ego, yeah? And and, and say and not say I'm sorry to Kai Havertz. I've already apologized, uh, you know, for doing that to him. But come on, man. Even you, yeah? You have to agree. He's made you look like a donut, innit? <laughs> yeah, in it. Listen, listen. Right, okay, okay. right now, right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, what did I say last week? Last week I said we saw seven games, we saw eight games left, went to the end of the season, and then I'll make my full opinion on, on the player. Yeah. But yeah, mm. right now, this guy, honestly, fair play. This guy does not deserve to be dropped at all. Yeah. This guy, I saw someone in my chat say said, Why why'd you play? Because I did up my preview, yeah. I put him in my site mm. People were saying, Why why'd you put Havertz in? You know, we should play Jesus. I'm like, what? Based on what? what? Why should Jesus be? Why should Jesus be ahead of Havertz? This guy, honestly, is doing the business, Tony. Yeah, this guy, fair, fair play to him because yeah, we've all criticised us. I criticise the signing. You criticise the signing. Yeah, but this guy continuously, the way he's been playing and the way how I think he had a slow start when he was put him in this left centre mid position, which clearly didn't work out. But now he's been converting yeah. into centre forward. You know, this guy. He's been performing really well. Even if he doesn't score, he's still a big part to this team in terms of when, whenever we press as well, I've noticed this. Whenever we press, it's always him. Big ups, MEFC up. Global, man. MEFC big Global, up, big ups to you, man. That's my brother. Yeah, big, big ups, up, man. Bro. Yeah. 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 But when I when we're pressing, I wait, it's always him and Havertz is the main guy with Odegaard. You know, they've got a very good link up there. So this guy, clearly, Ante, we, we all know, lo loves Havertz. He was 20, 65 mil on the guy. He's clearly a big part of his plans and clearly a big part of his system, right? And yeah. honestly, all, all I asked from him, which I said it when we first signed him, yeah? Although I criticised him, I've said, what are we doing? I've seen this guy play for Chelsea three years and he's looked inconsistent. All I asked for him in an Arsenal shirt, like every other player, is consistency. And right now, nobody can argue that this guy has been so consistent. You know, ever, ever since I mean, even like this whole even halfway through the season, he, as you said, Tony, like last week, the guy's been stepping up in in the late moments as well. You know, he scored yeah, against moments. Brentford. You know, Brentford, he's, he scored twice against them in, in injury time. Yeah, and he yeah. got an important goal um, against Brighton. 
Yeah, and he, yeah. you know he scored he, against he, Liverpool. Fair, yeah, fair, fair play to him. In the fair two legs him. against Bright in against yeah. Brentford, that we need we needed those wins. He was there for us. Like he's yeah. that guy that keeps on giving and and we don't believe in him yet. So I don't know what he's to do next for you know he, he has scored double figures. Even you know what, yeah, he has achieved what Gabriel Jesus hasn't achieved. In all the whole seasons he's been here with us. That's spot on. It is. Yeah. It is. He's really he proven wrong. He has outscored Gabriel Jesus, actually. Yeah, Jesus has only ever scored in 14 terms of goals goals, goals, goals yeah. in the premiership. Jesus has only ever scored 14 goals in his football career, career Tony. That, that that that's at Man City. Not even he hasn't even come close. Oh no, yeah, not yeah. Arsenal. No, I, I mm, not Arsenal. No, yeah. I don't think he has. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right, yeah. Yes. So, 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 so why is it, so so why is the respect down for him and, and no, no, and walk into no, this no, team? I've given so much credit. This guy's no, not you. I'm not talking of oh, you. I'm talking oh. of some of the fan base. I know yeah. of you. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm talking <laughs> of some of the fan base. They don't want to give him credit. They don't want to give him credit. And 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 I'm mm. not buying it, man. And again, he's very very instrumental to our game against Bayern Munich because you know one thing I've found out about this Bayern Munich they hate they hate awkward strikers that's one thing I've seen they hate they see they do not like awkward strikers they don't like awkward players running in and about their defense uh, you know they don't know how to mark they don't know how to mostly when you have open uh, open man Cano, uh, down there, yeah. Who doesn't have technical abilities in marking? We can time his marking like Saliba, who is more careful, uh, goes with, you know, with his, you know, goes with his guts and make a, you know, a tackle that is credible, yeah. And he, he gets the ball. Open Kano is not like that. He's very reckless, very careless. He's yeah. gotten lots of red cards. It's a silly kind of guy. I don't like him in my defense. I don't even want to see him at all. I, in fact, I don't even know why this guy is having the light of day, yeah, in that French national team. I, 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 like, I completely don't see why. I think the Champs, yeah, is drunk. The Champs <laughs> is drunk. No, no, no. That guy is either is being possessed by a demon or is is it as drunk? Any of the two. How in God's name can you tell me that one of the best? Center backs in the whole of Europe. See, and and I'm just being nice. I don't want to say in the whole of the world because I'll be bringing in uh, Van Dijk into that conversation. I'll be bringing in, of course, uh, uh, Magalhaes right now. So I don't want to say the word I'm talking of in Europe. How can you say, yeah, one of the two best center backs in the whole of Europe can make it to the French national team? Is this guy drunk? He is. I, I don't know. He, he, he's drunk. That's he the is. last question. Is he drunk? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. He, is he drunk? Bro, no, no, yeah. no. Is he drunk? He's drunk. Look, I, I think he's drunk. He's, he's drunk. lost his mind. I'm telling you, Tony. He's lost his mind. I don't, I don't see him. what he sees in a book of Meccano to play over he's William drunk. Saliba. Yeah, mate, Saliba. I, 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 clearly, he does not watch Arsenal, this Didier Deschamps. I don't know, or, or clearly a Pukamakano has paid him or something so to play. Or, like real talk, a Pukamakano. I don't, I don't get the hype for this guy. I really don't. I said it earlier. It's I true. don't understand why do people hype this guy up so much. I don't get it. He's every time I watch him, he just looks like a bozo. Yeah, the amount every time I've I've watched a Bayern game or a France game, I don't really watch France games, but every time I've seen a Bayern game, this guy always just looks like a he's about to make a mistake. <sighs> <laughs> Saliba is miles clear, and I don't know what Deschamps is like. Miles ahead of this guy. See, yeah, uh, Josh, we've come to the end of the show, but you know what? Yeah, I want you. Hey, Arsenal above all. That's this is my guy. He said they're rocking with me from the start. Yeah, Harry. See, yeah. Uh, when will we do a show together? When will you come to the channel, my guy? He has a lovely channel called Arsenal Above All, and he's a great guy, of course, a family guy, but, you know, he gives his time to, to his channel too. So big ups to you, yeah, Arsenal Above All. It's been nice to see you down here uh, uh, to, to talk the Arsenal one day with you, man. Hopefully I can get you soon. Uh, but again, Harris, there. Yeah, let's talk uh, uh, very soon. Uh, see, uh, what do you think will be the scoreline predictions? And guys, please drop in your predictions for the games. 
in the charts right now. I want to see all your predictions. Josh, hit us with the predictions for the games. And of course, because the Real Madrid Manchester City matchup will be going on simultaneously while the Arsenal plays Bayern Munich. At what the idiot, Emirates. by the way, put them on the same time. I, 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 bro, see, I, I don't know what these guys in Europe are smoking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In UEFA, they are smoking. The, the, yeah. the Champs is smoking. Everyone is smoking. So, uh, but again, let's come back down to reality. Predictions for that match Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. And then, uh, 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 of course, Manchester City uh, will be yeah. far away at Spain against um, uh, Real Madrid. Yeah, so first leg for Arsenal, Emirates, I'm feeling confident. As I said, I'm going to go 2-0 to the Gunners. I feel like we'll keep a clean sheet. Um, and I feel like, yeah, we'll take the game to them and, you know, do enough for me to go second leg. And So do, 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 do you want my first leg prediction or second leg as well? <laughs> Big ups, uh, big ups, Ross. Yeah, man, I have to say, it. Jesus Christ, because the Shams is making me mad. I don't know. How can that guy say that Open Cano is better than yeah. than, than Rolls Royce? I, I think it's drunk. Rolls -Royce, yeah. I think, uh, you know, yeah, they used to say this thing, yeah, that, you know, Humpty Dumpty <laughs> <laughs> climbed the wall. I think he's only climbed on the wall and he had a great fall and he broke his head and it's cold. <laughs> I really think that the Shams has his skull broken, is Humpty Dumpty. And he did not just have a great fall. I think he broke his skull too, because that guy doesn't have any idea what he's talking about. William Saliba is two best centre backs in the see, I don't want to see because if I say in the world, yeah, this, you know, this this hungry fans will come after me. But I want to just say in Europe, yeah, Let, let's put it at that. That guy's a laughing stock, man. Uh, yeah, you wanted to say something, man. Yeah, I, I, as you said, do you, do you want my predictions for both the legs or just the first yeah, one? Yeah, for both. For, for both. For the okay, first one, so and then you go, and then you go for the second one. one. First leg, two 0 Arsenal. Um, and the second leg, I feel like yeah, it's going to be a very tight game in terms of like yeah, we'll you know hold them back and we'll be more defensive because we're holding on to the lead. Um, I actually think we might lose. I hate to say that in the second leg, but it only be like one 0 to Bayern Munich and we go through. <laughs> Um, maybe one of those games for me. So, yeah, I see us going going through in the semi-finals. I really do. And then as for Real Madrid and Man, uh, Man City, um, man, I'm turning two minds between the uh, in between this game, man. Because you got Real Madrid. We all know about them. You know, the players have got the, the midfield. They've got. I mean, just the whole squad in general. They've got is insane. Managers insane in Ancelotti up against City. I mean, we saw happened last season that that four nil thrashing that City gave them. They're gonna want revenge. I think they beat them at home. I really do. Real Madrid for me win the game 2 1 first leg and then second leg 2 2 draw. Real Madrid go through to semi finals and, and we'll face them semi finals. Oh, so wait, would you prefer to face Real Madrid or would you prefer to face Man City? Um, ah, uh, you know what That's it is like, I, I, as a fan, like, I really want us to face Real Madrid because it's Real Madrid. But I actually mm. see us because I don't see us doing Real Madrid on the I, I, I honestly, we get semi finals. I'm sorry to say, I, I, I don't see us getting past Real Madrid. Man City, I do see us getting past on two legs. So I'd prefer to play Man City, but as a fan, of course, I want to play the best. I want to play Real Madrid. Uh, but if you had to ask me, I want to play, play Real Madrid. Madrid. Yeah. I'll yeah. prefer to play Real Madrid in the semi final and have a go because I don't think we can beat Real Madrid in the final. I, I think it will all be, you know, rigged in the final. So <laughs> for Real Madrid to win a final. So I would like to face them in the semifinals, beat them up in the you know in the semifinals, and then go and face anyone <laughs> in the you know in the in the finals. Because Man City, yeah, on their day, you, you saw how we struggle to even pull out an attack uh, uh, down there at uh, you know at the 80 had. I, I don't want to have that again. I don't want to play City again this season. It's hard. It's difficult. I'm not saying we cannot impose ourselves, you know, over them, but I'm saying that it's gonna be an Hockelin task. And trust me, trust me, we we don't want to go there because we want to conserve our energies. We want to, you know, conserve everything and 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 face this Premiership title head on. So I don't want any semi final that would actually drain us, uh, you know, to the pulp mm, and and grind this place out. Yeah. 
uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just go easy with that. See, yeah, uh, guys, I'm predicting Arsenal will beat Bayern Munich by three goals to one. Harry Kane will get the first goal, and then Arsenal will just pump those guys with three goals, uh, three goals to one. That's what I think. So we might go to the Allianz Arena with a two goal uh, margin, and that's where it becomes mm. dicey. That's where it becomes dicey. So our defense will have to come and get us over the line in this one, uh, because I, I I really think that. Harry Kane is a potent striker. He loves to score against the Arsenal. Uh, you know, you can't you can't diminish uh, uh, what he's done. Uh, you know, but at Bayern Munich and in England, he understands how we play. He knows us very well. He knows how to play against us. He, you know, he's played against his defenders. He has experience in, on how to break them down. So let's see what happens. But I still do think that uh, Kai Havertz to get us over the line in this matchup is very, very important in this game. Yeah. I still think that um, uh, uh, the way he plays, his awkwardness uh, and his aerial ability uh, down there in the final third will cause lots of problems for Bayern Munich. I still do think that uh, uh, Goretzka uh, uh, and, um, and um, Lamar aren't the best in the midfield right now. Uh, uh, you know, they're not consistent with how they play. And, and when they see real force in the middle of the park, they will car uh, because I've seen them car this season. So I mm. think Arsenal can actually find our way in and about that midfield. Uh, if we can find ways to be able to stop Musiala and Gnabry, stop their fast pace, stop them uh, uh, sending the ball down to Harry Kane, which is the biggest danger that, that we will have. If we can be able to find means on truncating them, uh, we should do it. And that's why Ben White will come in handy. And that's why Ben White should be a very disciplined player. Instead of him bumping forward like he usually do, like he usually does in the Premiership, he should be more conservative, help out Bukhara Saka at times, but be more conservative in terms of uh, uh, balancing his attacking and, uh, and, and defensive duties for the team on that day. Because... Uh, you know, on the wings, these guys are crazy. They run like mad men. Mm -hmm. I'm talking of their, you know, attacking attacking trio. And of course, uh, I wouldn't be going with Zichenko because I can't I can't trust him uh, to get us over the line in that left back position. Oh, yes. I would go with more culture. I will go with more discipline with Kivio. He should be down there. He should get us mm -hmm. over the line in that left-hand side, more defensively minded. He hardly bumps forward. He would just sit down there conservatively and help us soak up pressure. So, you know, let's see what happens. Josh, shout out your channel, my guy. Shout out your uh, channel. Man, it's been a pleasure as always, my man. Thank you very much for having me on as always. So in the absolute love this show, as I said, as I told you guys that like, every every Monday, oh, I'm always looking forward. I'm like, yeah, Monday, show with Tony. Let's do this. I absolutely love this show, guys. And um, yeah, and lots Monday. of people came today, yeah. man. It was, it was a, it it's was great, a blast, man, man. Honestly, it's it's, yeah, just, it's, it's always love, you know, uh, talking football with you, my, my guy, and just talking yeah, overall because you know, you know, we're very close yeah. as friends as well. So yeah, yeah. Uh, big up, man. And uh, let's let's hope Arsenal get the job done tomorrow. There, so you know, we can put in a good performance and uh, get a good result, my man. But yeah, thank you very much. Um, guys, you can find me as well. Um, true Guna, I do daily Arsenal content. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything, everything to do with Arsenal. And uh, I've got a podcast coming right now. Um, and mm. I've got a Champions League video coming as well. Predictions, final Champions League predictions. So, uh, yeah, daily content, people get so many guests on as well. And then obviously, next week, the show will be on my channel. Uh, and then we do a multi stream as well. So, we can both multicast on Monday. So, yeah. Thank you very much yeah. for having me on, man. And uh, big up your chat and big up yourself, Tony, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, jo Josh. It's always a pleasure having you on my channel all the time. And um, it's uh, I, I, I'm really very happy that I, you know, I'm committed to doing this show with you, man. Big, big, big ups to you. And, um, of course, you, you're always a great person to work with, uh, you know, the, because of your consistency and your work ethics whenever you say hey i'm coming down you're coming down yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what i like when i'm doing shows with people uh, you know i don't have to push you with the phone hey josh where are you i, I don't I've, I've never done that i don't have to do that mm -hmm. so you know i really like that kind of uh, chemistry going on in terms of our working relationship on the show big ups to you to be nice to have you next week hopefully we would have gotten uh, uh past this uh biomimic uh, uh test and then we'll have something good to say and maybe sip champagne live on the show on monday but, but see uh, guys 
Check me out with Ola of the Fight Week show. It's going to be a fairy show. You guys know Ola. He doesn't hold back. He says what he likes. It's going to be here at 9 p.m. UK time. Come join me as me and him delve into this Bayern Munich stuff, delve into the premiership, delve into some news going around uh, uh, town, in, you know, in London. Come on, man. Join us, guys, yeah, 9 p.m. today, UK time, and, and, and join us. And, and, and let's... Um, Let's just see the part which draw us and if we'll be able to uh, get to get glory uh, uh, this season. Uh, see, so yeah, from me and True Gunner Wright, that's Josh. We And thank you, everyone who joined us today. God bless you guys. And catch yeah, me guys. at 9 p.m. Guys, don't forget it today. 9 p.m., me and the Fight Week show, Ola, will be on the channel today. God bless you guys. And from me and Josh, we 